as we all know bench power supply is one of the most essential equipment for any electronics lab so i decided to build one and in this video i'm going to show you how i build this lab bench power supply for my lab also do subscribe to my channel and like if you like my content to keep me motivated now let's power it on these big female sockets are for variable voltage output these are connected to the output of dps 3003 module and these smaller ones are for the fixed voltages like this blue one provides 3.3 volt red one provides 5 volt yellow one provides 9 volt and the green one provides 12 volt now just take a look to its display it is showing set voltage set current and the input voltage now in the settings menu you can find voltage and current settings also it has features like over voltage protection over current protection as well as over power protection you can also adjust the brightness of the display now it's time to test variable output of this power supply Now I'm going to hook up motor to the constant output of the power supply. For enclosure, I have decided to use this 6 module electrical junction box. After deciding enclosure and everything else, I designed my front panel in coral draw for the laser cutting. And after completion of designing, I get it laser cut on 3mm black acrylic. And you can see it, it look, looks quite good and saves a lot of time. This is DPS 3003 module and this is the main heart of this power supply. It has two input pins for supply and maximum input voltage is 40 volts. So make sure you use less than 40 volts. And it has two pins for output. It can maximum provide up to 32 volts. For power supply, I'm gonna use this codec power supply that runs on 220 volt AC and has an output of 36 volts and 2.1 amps for getting constant voltages i will be using four of these small buck converters these are based on mp1584 voltage regulator ic's these have a maximum input voltage of 28 volts and can provide up to 20 volts and 3 amps as i am using 36 volt supply I cannot use 36 volts with these small buck converters directly so I need to reduce it to around 22 volts for that I am gonna use these high voltage LM2596 modules which have an input voltage of around 60 volts so for reducing 36 volts to 22 volts I am going to use it for switching I am going to use this nice looking switch it has a beautiful blue indicator on it. For output, I am gonna use these colorful female banana plugs of 2mm and 4mm diameter. Now, after getting everything on table, it was time to put all the things together. I started with attaching a switch into the panel and after that, it was time to put all the plugs in the place and screw them.
After placing everything on panel, it looked like this. Now it was time to secure buck converters on their place with the use of hot glue gun. After this, it was time to do some soldering. I connected outputs of buck converter to the plug and also connected all the buck converters input in parallel. Soldering output of TPS3003 to these plugs. Tested the output voltage of LM2596 to 22 volts. Placed LM2596 module with hot glue. Connecting supply to the input of TPS3003 module. Now it was the time to solder a switch. After making all the essential connections, it was time to adjust the potentiometer of our buck converter to set the desired voltage with the help of a screwdriver and a multimeter. Now at last it was time to connect LED to the 3.3 volt coming from buck converter. After completing everything, it was time to enclose the enclosure with the help of a screw. Now our DIY power supply is completed. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to share and like. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss my video.